boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the Rubber Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. The NFL kickoff video on Rubber Sports Show for the 2018-19 NFL football season. Wow, football season is here again. Whew, college football begins right now, actually. It's, I'm filming this uh, Saturday morning. It is 11.40 Central Standard Time. In, uh, college football season is underway. Um, so definitely check out Robert Sports Show in the uh, College Football Week 1. And if you look right there, you should see a link to it. Alright, so NFL, wow. There is five questions that can be answered during this NFL season. We don't know the answer to right now. First one is, which of these five, five first-round quarterbacks will have the best season? Baker Mayfield in Cleveland? Josh Rosen in Arizona, Sam Darnold in New York Jets, Lamar Jackson in Baltimore, Josh, Josh Allen in Buffalo. Who's going to have the best rookie season? We don't know for sure who's going to start right away. Sam Darnold looks like he's probably going to start in, in, in the, with the Jets, but we don't know about the other ones. Will these 5-5 five five be the... Future class of 1983. Will the, two, the class of 2018 be the same as the class quarterback class of 1983? Only time will tell. Or will it be like 99? One of the worst first round quarterback classes of all time. We don't know. Neither of these guys have thrown an NFL regular season pass. Um, so we don't know the answer to that. We can't answer that. Can or will the Cleveland Browns be the NFL's version of the Chicago Cubs and Houston Astros? Can the Browns go from 1-15 to 0-16, the first team ever to lose every game, to make the playoffs? To even have a winning record? Are they a year away? Are they two years away? Will they be, you know, what 2016... Chicago Cubs was when 2013. But they've been bad for so long, we don't know. Is Hugh Jackson the right coach to turn around the Cleveland, Cleveland Browns? We don't know. Only time will tell. Is the Patriots dynasty failing? Brady's age? We know what happens to running backs at the age of 30. We don't know what happens to quarterbacks at the age of 40. Is Brady just going to fall off. What about Gronk? Is his health going to, I mean his health is an issue. He's talking retirement already. What about Brady and Belichick? Is there a few behind the scenes there? I mean we don't know. We, we know that Gruffalo got traded last year. We don't know if that came from higher up or if it came from Belichick. We don't know. Is that wonderful world in New England crumbling. Can Kirk Cousins' contract not be a failure? Three years, $84 million guarantee. I mean, we've we seen what uh, something, you know, Odell Beckham got. We've seen what, um, oh my god, the freaking Rams guy. <laughs> totally forgot his name right there. Yeah, we've seen what his contract just was. So, Aaron Donald. Three years, 84, I mean, is that all 100% guarantee? Is that going to be the new norm for the NFL, or is that just a one-off? Which Colts team do we have? With Andrew Luck, they were 43-27. and 27. The Playoff continuing team without Andrew Luck, they were 10-16. and 16. Um, The NFL has some decisions to make going forward. We, we, we see this preseason games, how shitty they were and crappy they were. They don't need a preseason. College football doesn't have a preseason. Why does the NFL have a preseason? There's so many talks of, hey, let's go to 18 games. Hey, let's get rid of, let's get rid of two preseason games and go to 18 games. No, no, 18 games is too many. Here's what you do. Get rid of the preseason. Preseason gone. Have your training camps. If you want to have your scrimmages versus other teams, up to you. You expand the season. Hear me out before everybody starts going, up. holy fuck, what the hell are you talking about? We expand the season. I say we go... Hmm. 
17 games. It's an odd number, I know. Eight home games, eight road games, one neutral site game. We do two bye weeks for everyone. Well, the base, one of the biggest complaints is Sunday football, Thursday football. There's too much money to be made for Thursday football to go away. The, the, the money's too, too much. That is ne it's never going to happen. So what if you do this? The team that plays on Thursday has to be off the week before. Every team has two bye weeks. You have 17 primetime games on, on Thursday then. Everybody has the week, you know, you have two, you know, everybody has two bye weeks. You can work the schedule where whoever your Thursday game is has the week before off. And you do that, maybe week one you do two Thursday games, like you do two Monday night games. Maybe you do two, th two Thursday games every week. And then everybody's off, you know, if you play on Thursday, you have the weekend before off. Just an option. If you have the 17 regular season games, eight home, eight away, when you have these neutral site games in Mexico and London, Toronto, wherever you want to put them, you're not taking away somebody's home, home game revenue. And then you have 17 weeks that you can have this neutral site game. Do it wherever the hell you want to, across the world. But if everybody has two bye weeks, you could do your Thursday games. Maybe you do one, th you know, you could do your Thursday games. And then maybe have two teams go to London and then you're off the week, you know, the week after or whatever. You can make it work, schedule-wise. That way you have, yeah, you lose the revenue for the preseason games. But you're not paying the players anymore for preseason. Players get hurt. That affects your regular season. I mean, even if you wanted to get rid of the preseason and maybe somehow do it where you have... 18 regular season games, no preseason games, eight road games, nine home games, and a neutral site game. That way you get the extra revenue for the home game, and you have the neutral site game you get some partial, partial revenue for. And get to have no preseason games. Those are just my thoughts. Um, I know there's talk of expanding the playoffs. I actually say we get rid of the current structure. Have your NFC, AFC. Why do we have divisions? To me, divisions in sports is like a participation trophy. Hey, you won your division. Great. Or maybe even go to them. Three divisions have two divisions. Or even get, I say get rid of divisions altogether. I think that model is we, we need to go forward. So you have your AFC. You have your NFC. Have it where you split the country in half. So your, say, Missouri West is your West is your uh, AFC. Missouri East is your NFC, or whatever, how you would have to split it for its equal teams, 16 and 16. Then you have your top eight, six, whatever you want to do in that conference because of the playoffs, and you rank them accordingly. So if you have two conferences of 16 teams, and you play... 17 or 18 games, you have 15 conference games, two or three, whichever schedule you go with, out of conference games. And then you can work on playing the other teams in the other conference. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so here at Robert Sports Show, as if you've seen the Robert Sports Show in the past for NFL, you know I come up with some crazy ideas, I throw them out there, this is what I would do. Obviously I'm not Roger Goodell, so I can't do stuff like that. If he ever calls me, though, I will give him what I tell him what I think. But just like every other year on Robert Sports Show, when it comes to the NFL, we go one, you know, uh, straight up win, wins losses. So I pick, you know, whoever thinks going to win, pick against the spread, pick on the over under. Last season, regular season, win loss, straight up picks. I was one sixty nine eighty seven. That's sixty six percent. Against the spread, I was at one thirty eight and one eighteen fifty four percent. Over under. It was a little, little bit worse at 135 and 121 at 53%. I picked all 256 regular season games last year. And I was above 500 in all three categories. I was happy with that. So if I was actually betting money on it, I would have won money. So hey, I'm not horrible here. Playoffs, I was horrible. 
Four and seven win loss, five and six, and five and six against spread win loss in the eleven playoff games. Hey, you can't win them all, right? All right. So at the end of this video, you're going to see all my picks for over under on team wins. So it's either going to be over under, over under, or even, and then my team win prediction. So if they were predicted to win six games, and I thought they were going to win six games, I just went even and put predicted wins. So you're going to see that little video at the end of, end of here. And you're also going to see toward the end of the video my playoff picks for the AFC, NFC, and my Super Bowl picks. You might be a little shocked on who my Super Bowl picks are, but I'm going to give you a little tease with that. One of them has a veteran quarterback. One of them has a young quarterback. Give me a little more tease. What a, they're both owned by billionaires. Wait, that's really not a tease. Most teams are owned by billionaires. So they rule out Green Bay. Yeah, so that's what they rules out. Hmm. Let me get another tease here. One's in the AFC, one's in the NFC. That's not a tease. That's the, that's the Super Bowl anyway. You'll just have to watch and see who my Super Bowl picks are. So stay tuned to River Sports Show for week one of the NFL football season. Make sure if you're a pro wrestling fan, you check out the uh, indie show All In preview and review. Check out the uh, all the pro wrestling stuff I do on River Sports Show. Um, check out the uh, NCAA college football. Week one is already up. Week two will be up this week. Plan going forward is after Memorial Day week as we get into week three, four, etc. Mondays will be college football day here on Remember Sports Show, and then Tuesdays will be NFL day. So make sure you check all that out. And welcome back to the Remember Sports Show. If you're new to Remember Sports Show, I'm just me. I talk about what I think I should talk about. I give my picks, right, wrong, or indifferent. If you want to see something that I'm talking about with my opinion on it, comment below. If you feel that I'm just stupid and retarded, comment below. But hey, at least watch and comment. That's all I ask. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.